Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Voxel Pro here with another Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker walkthrough, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, in the last episode, <laughs> we were on a U.S. missile base. We found out that they got paused, so now we're going to go rescue her. Uh, already set up for this four scene. I'm in my battle gear with the uh, the foul carbine rifle battle rifle it's powerful it's not great in terms of accuracy but it's powerful look at this I told you it's not accurate <laughs> But it's powerful. Oh man, I'm gonna get a bad rank on this. I used to get bit, now I represent to the fullest. Pixels for insulin bullets, I'm like a Doberman. So my setup that I had here, um, that I have for, you know, my loadout, I should have said, because the setup makes it sound like I'm talking about my recording setup, but no. This case, I am purely talking about my loadout. Um, my loadout consists of this foul, foul, this, uh, FAL, this battle carbine, um, this battle rifle carbine, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know what the proper difference is. Uh, I don't know much about guns. I know they shoot. I know they kill people. That's all I need. Pretty much all I need to know in a Metal Gear Solid game. Um, and some, and the fact that some are more powerful than others. Anyway, getting back to the topic at hand. Uh, my loadout for this game, for this specific level, is the Foul Carbine. The, uh, I believe the M60. Yeah, the M60 and the um, the remote control um, missile because I know what's coming at the end of this level. Um, so that's the reason why I have that, and I also customized it to where you know um, if there are any problems. You know, I can use the same loadout for when I'm fighting tanks, helicopters, ATVs, um, or whatever the acronym for the armored vehicles are. I believe it is ATVs, but um, I can use this loadout for that. And and as long as you have these these kind of three components, um. Generally, like an assault, uh, like it follows the um, kind of like the, the 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 paradigm of assault rifle, heavy machine gun, and missile launcher. You can't really go wrong in a in a um, in a in, in a uh, in a heavy battle uh, situation in Peace Walker. The only, the only thing that I would say is, the only thing that I would say is that, depending on what you have, uh, the, and what your level of weapons are, and how much damage they do, that can easily change. Um, so like, if you have like a level two, like, you know, the, the, this remote control missile, not remote control missile, but uh auto-targeting missile, this home-seeking missile, um, heat-seeking missile, um, on some of the, uh, on some of the, uh, 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 u
have that level of heat seeking missile on some of the battles where, you know, clearly clearly it's too low. Um I will say I will say that um uh, you know, then your loadout probably needs to be two missile launchers and a uh, and a heavy machine gun. But for a level like this, this loadout, this loadout paradigm would do. And and this level is just fun to go through because you don't have to worry about getting caught. Um, That's your job, that's... Because I need the hell. I wish they would try to like chase me and then it just closes on them. Like, man, almost had them. They weren't even close. Um, the reason why I say the reason why I say you know keep that kind of paradigm of loadout um, is because, like I said, sometimes the helicopter battles, depending on what level of weapons you have, can be kind of tough for you, and it can take like a lot of um, and it can take like a lot of um, supply markers to like take them down. But I'm like, sometimes it's a it's a better bet to um, take out all the guys surrounding the vehicle, surrounding the helicopter or the tank, um, and then and then damage enough to where where um, the leader will come out and then you can just kill him or like train him and you'll you'll recruit him and then you'll get the vehicle. So that's what I'm saying. Don't make it more trouble than it's worth. And you know what? I'm getting my behind handed to me right now, but you know what? I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nice tactician. When it comes to stuff like this. This is, this, this is what you got big boss for. I'm clutch like that. No, not outside. You'll be shot dead in a second. You know, it switches to the thing to people I got. Um. This is an epic song for this part of the game. Cause it's almost like a like a like a uh, almost like a remember the Alamo type of deal where you're kinda of surrounded and everything's going to crap around you. They got helicopters, they got people, they're blowing up things and and everything is and it's just it's just crazy. And this has to be this has to be one of the most epic levels of the game because not only not only are you dealing with this, but then you got you got to see the cutscenes of it where everything comes together, and it's just great. Um, you don't have to worry about getting caught, and it's it, it, Peace Walker is one of the um, one of the best games in the, in the Metal Gear franchise. Uh, I will say that. Um, I will say that, you know, uh, Greg Miller says all the time if you watch him on a kind of funny games, he'll say that it's the best Metal Gear uh, game of all time, hands down. But you know what? I don't believe that. I don't believe that only because I have such an affinity for one. Uh, 
I had such an affinity for one. That's my that's my favorite game. That's my favorite Metal Gear Solid game of all time. That's my favorite game of all time. What they did with the story, everything. It was just it was just nice. Um person singing the song, Donna Burke, uh, she's also singing for, guess what, the Phantom Pain, uh, the Sins of the Father. She's also the voice of the eye droid. If you haven't heard Sins of the Father, it's the, it's the song. You probably recognize it, but you probably just haven't heard it. Uh, heard it referred to as that, um, but I guarantee you heard it. In the trailer. It's, the, it's the song that's in the E3 trailer, uh, the E3 2013 trailer, to be exact. Um, nice shot. Also, the combat outfit was the sneaking suit in Metal Gear Solid 3. I don't know if you guys knew that. But, um, it's just got some extra armor on it. I'm like, I'm surprised it's not the sneaking suit in this one. Um, oh, shoot. He knocked me up. Oh, <laughs> I just gotta hit him in the head, and it's kinda hard because this thing is so unpredictable. Also, if you're watching, I'm, I am a game developer. I'm a practicing, you know, to be a game developer, I should say. And I, you know, I'm developing weapons right now, and I, you know, I'm using Peace Walker and Ground Zeroes as a model to, uh, you know, for gameplay. And I'm trying to, you know, say some of the stuff I want in my game. And I'm trying to have it be good. And I'm, I'm just trying to come up with a story right now. It, and that's kind of the hardest part. But, uh, it's, you know, it's exciting. It's fun. I really like modeling the weapons. Good job. Now I have get a in there. Head north. fun time doing it. Um, I know nothing about modeling. And you, you'll probably think that they'll look horrible. I have some pictures up on some of my um, stuff up on uh, Twitter uh, if you want to check that out. Um, but, uh, yeah. Snake! Big boss, you made it. Too late, though. The false data's already in place. False data? That's right. Peace Walker is designed for deterrence. Nothing more. She is incapable of initiating a nuclear attack on her own. She will only awaken and attack when it's time to retaliate. Peace Walker is a weapon of peace, after all. First, we'll enter data for an imaginary Soviet nuclear strike on the U.S. homeland. After assessing the data as a threat, Peace Walker will automatically enter retaliation mode, selecting the optimal target from a predefined list. For this scenario, we have reverse engineered the false data so that she'll inevitably end up choosing the Caribbean Sea as her target. You're really gonna do it, aren't you? Know this. Peace Walker's retaliation will be the first and last of the Cold War. It is the only way we will ever come close to achieving true peace. All that is left is to enter the cold. Go! No! Stand down, big boss. You're late. Hmm. Professor. Professor? Yes, well, taking over the base took longer than expected. <sighs> I brought the technology. What? You provided the money and land. 
Center alone could never have accomplished so much in so little time. Zadarnov, you backstabbing son of a- Backstabbing? Correct me if I'm wrong, but were we not enemies all along? Do you really think my comrades were working for the company? Do you truly think we'd faithfully serve a pack of depraved capitalist yes. dogs? Yes! <laughs> what are you going to do? Launch a nuke. Target Cuba. Have you lost your mind? What would you possibly gain? We won't be the ones launching it. You, the Americans, will attack our ally, Cuba. What? Think, Coldman. We're on an American base, eagerly endorsed and supplied by a pro-American regime. What's the international community to think? The world will burn with anti-American sentiment. Communism will spread across Latin America unchecked. Ah! Let the age of deterrence be undone by the deterrent itself. Such is the Kremlin's plan. You son of a bitch! Us, come here. Shoot him. Professor Galvez. Hmm. I am Vladimir Zadornov. And Vladimir means ruler of peace. Now, do as you're told, us. Don't do it! Remember what they did to you at their base on the coast. For what Coldman's done, he deserves nothing less than death. Pass! I I'm sorry! Retribution be delivered by a dead hand. You... you missed on purpose. Your part in this isn't done. I need you to enter the code. Doctor, the target is now Cuba. Please make the necessary modifications. Oh. And don't even think of resisting. I'll crush you, but only after I crush your beloved first. No. Not that! Cuba is now the retaliation target. Very well. Good. It is done. As for you, big boss, I've been watching you all along. You've performed beyond even my highest expectations. A true commandante. What are you talking about? Hmm. Why do you think I summoned you to Costa Rica? Had you make contact with the Sandinistas? <laughs> a true intelligence operative never gets his hands dirty. Need a revolution? Manipulate the locals into doing it for you. You mean Amanda and the Sandinistas? You've done well. You took a ragtag band of guerrillas, children, and shaped them into a full-fledged, formidable army. And now, you'll truly become our century's most complete human being. Che Guevara? None other. A hero who, gunned down by the CIA, becomes a legendary icon. Sandinistas will rise up in revenge, overthrowing the pro-American regime and wresting Nicaragua from U.S. hands. And the nuclear strike on Cuba naturally will be the last straw. Mammal pod data entry is complete. He set this up quite dead at age nicely. 39. Just like El Che. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? In the end, a legend is merely fiction. You'll die as the boss did, and become as did she, an eternal fraud. Go, go, go! That's my people right there. That's my people. Freeze! You dare point your gun at a comrade? We. Oui. We're not the pawns of the KGB. We will win our own victory! Hasta la victoria siempre! Amanda! 
We're home! Look! We're back in Nika! We did it, Amanda! I mean... Comandante! Boss, you hurt! I'm fine. Big Boss. Big Boss! 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 You're a regular Joan of Arc. Nonsense. You're the hero here. You saved my life. You're the heroes here. <laughs> I never figured you for a softy, Snake. Thanks. It's good to see you. Boss can stay with us until she's back on her feet. And the professor? We'll find him a nice, comfy cell. Hmm. Coldman's lost a lot of blood. He may not make it. Hmm. Where's Amanda? Back with her compass. She'll catch up later. How about you, Snake? I'm not done yet. The AI. I have to finish this. That boss is a fake. I'm gonna bury it. We'll save the champagne until you get back. May as well celebrate peace while it lasts. I didn't bring her back to life because I was forced to. I wanted to know how she really felt. How it really ended. The boss is dead. No, she's alive. Some truths are better left buried. You don't mean that. Be honest. You want to know too, don't you? Whether what you saw and heard at the end was the truth. She'll tell us. I know she will. Thank you for stopping them. And I'm sorry. I can't imagine how it hurt. I'll live. I'm used to shock therapy. Hmm. You are? Well, it's very kind of you to say. He does let a lot of stuff go. Let's go meet her, shall we? Get in, boss. Don't pick up a gun unless you know how to use it. Aiming a weapon alone doesn't make it. She a didn't really pick it up. I mean, she was kind of in duress, under duress when that You're happened. The angel of peace. Leave the guns to us. I'm just saying. That was our agreement. Remember? The army's leaving Costa Rica now. The mission is complete. Pause. noise. What'd he do? <laughs> I should have killed you when What'd I he had do? the chance. No. <laughs> Nor I thought that's what he said. Is about to begin. What? Peace Walker determines retaliation targets based on enemy nuclear gun glasses data. on. That data can be sent to third parties as well. We got big problems, Snake. Coleman's activated the nuclear launch switch. What? And the target's Cuba? Yeah, but that's not it. The son of a bitch has screwed us all over. When Peace Walker was activated, it started transmitting the false data sent to NORAD. It's using a spread spectrum MLF signal. It can't be blacked out, even by EMP. 
There's no way to tell the difference between false data and the real thing on a radar screen. NORAD will have no idea it's all a ruse generated by Peace Walker. They'll think it's a real Soviet attack. They'll pass on the data to the National Military Command Center. And Washington will have to choose whether or not to retaliate. This could get ugly. Unless we stop it, we're looking at a retaliatory chain reaction. No! No need to panic. The nightmare will end soon enough. What do you mean? Coldman's aim is for the bureaucrats in Washington to see the importance of a machine like Peace Walker. He's trying to prove that humans don't possess the will to launch nukes. Everything will be fine. They'll never retaliate. They're only human. Cuz, where's the But humans can be crazy I too. Was in the I'll just say two negotiations in Vladivostok. With the president gone, nuclear launch authority passes to the next person in the chain of succession. The vice president's gone too. So after him comes the speaker. President. Vice President. Not one among them has the courage to push the button. No one willing to enter history as the great destroyer. In the end, it's not their lives that people value most. It's their reputations. The bureaucrats in Washington may not be able to retaliate. Peace Walker, on the other hand. She's loyal to the mission above all. And she's well aware that guaranteed retaliation is essential for nuclear deterrence to work. Peace Walker is the perfect deterrent. Cuba would not have been my choice of target. But you can't make peace without breaking the Wings. Now that Peace Walker has the false data, retaliation is inevitable. Are you insane? You think it'll end there? You're about to unleash all-out nuclear war! Somebody find out what's going on at NORAD. Mammal's got a connection to NORAD. We could monitor it with the right equipment. I've got you covered. I've got NORAD on the line. Sir, we're tracking unidentified targets. Current apogee, 20 degrees. Estimated time of re-entry is 2250 Zulu. Have they contacted the president? Coverall is not responding. Warning system checks out. No corresponding natural signatures. Data is assessed as reliable. Cut the data transmission. We can't say for sure Washington isn't going to retaliate. The only one who knows the abort code is me. I die. No one can turn it off. Even if they do strike back, I'll already be dead. I can only pray that my theory, my peace, is proven right. Peace. Go to DEFCON 3. Get Zack on the phone. This is Crystal Palace. Stand by for an emergency meeting. They're at DEFCON 3. The false data and the nukes are both coming from the same source. We have to stop Peace Walker. The only way is to destroy her. I'll stop that. She's entered launch mode. Peace Walker's rendered her judgment. The target is Cuba. Snake, don't let it launch the nuke.
Alright, uh, rank C. Not great, but... Oh, cat. Um, I'm a cat. Um... Yeah, I... <laughs> Uh, oh, it's been a long, it, it's, it's, yeah, that was a long one. All right, thank you guys for w watching this Voxel Plays. That's not what they're officially called, but we're going to, you know, it's kind of understood at this point. Um, subscribe to Voxel Pro, uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus if you, if you like, if that's, e whatever's easy for you. Um, again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.